morning. It's morning for me. It's 8.04. You know, I woke up on the right side of the bed today. Hopefully you did too. I know it's rocking y'all. I'm so sorry. I drive fast. Oops. Um, shouldn't have said that. But anyway. Yes, it's a good day. It's a good day. The sky is fairly blue. A little cloudy. But God is good for waking me up feeling well you know weeping may endure for a night but joy comes in the morning okay i've heard so much going on just in life lately so the lord for waking me up with this hang time thank you look at the growth okay um there's been so much crazy stuff going on in life over the past few days weeks you know um, that I've been hearing other people going through. I know I've been dealing with my personal struggles, y'all. Um, and I just have really had to lean on faith, you know? And I know we say that a lot. Um, you know, having faith in situations. But when I tell you, sometimes that's all you fucking have. When you don't even have your, your mental clarity, you know like the mental capacity to want to keep going or physical because some days we're tired as fuck like I completely vibe with just being over it tired like overwhelmed like I know that's what people have been feeling it feeling because I'm an empath like I can feel it I can see it you know on social media like I really try, had to try to also protect my energy because there's so much you know um like on social media it, it drains your energy you know and I feel like that's purposeful but you know me I'm a conspiracy theorist so that's a whole nother story you know but we just have to choose basically choose what deserves our energy mind you I've been riding behind a car that has 222 on it a truck a white truck with 222 on the license plate <laughs> Sorry for the bumpiness, y'all. I'm getting off the highway. And that's what I mean by choosing the energy that you are going to allow into your life. I could have laid in bed this morning and just wallowed in my sadness. But I'm up. I'm up to get myself something, a treat. <laughs> because I made it through a hard week, y'all. My job is really trying to take me out the fucking game. Okay, but guess what? I'm not gonna let them. Never doing that. The fuck they thought. You know, um, that's not happening. So I am here about to get my Starbucks. And I know we're not fucking with Starbucks, but listen, guys, I live in the country. So I hate to break it to you. This is the closest. Um, you know, this is the closest coffee shop to me. And I just wanted some good breakfast. I'm tired of Bojangles. Bojangles is right down the street from my house. So, you know, like this is what I mean by choices. There's so much going on in life. Um, I, you know, am choosing to get up and get myself a treat, make myself feel good. I did my skincare this morning. Like just have uplifting thoughts, like do uplifting things. Um, you know, I've, I've been stretching this week. I've been waking up and meditating. I meditated this morning. Um, it is so necessary to stay close to high energy, stay close to God, you know, keep your energy up despite what's going on, because that's the enemy. That's the, the, the p powerful energy. Cause I'm going to say it's powerful that will try to stop you. So, and bring you down other people, you know, your circumstances, don't let that fucking, you know, drain your energy. Cause that's, what's going to damn take you out of here. And no you have purpose you know like it just gets hard sometimes girl I know I fucking know for fucking one sorry about but yeah um I just wanted to come on here and say that I'm, I'm ready to get my food um and yeah just keep yourself uplifted no matter what you're going through and I'm gonna get deeper into that later but let's get this Starbucks yeah so a few things um I'm looking back at the video that I recorded 
I am gonna post it because I didn't really finish a vlog. Like it's been quite a weekend. <laughs> um, it's Sunday now and I've been out like running errands today. Yesterday I had the shoot. So I have a little footage from that. So maybe I will put that in here, but I don't wanted to say something about the first video um, or the first half of this video. Um, for one, I used to work at Starbucks back in my college days. So I was driving down the road thinking about it. Um, and I was like, you know, we're boycotting Starbucks, but here's the thing, like they owe me reparations for the hours I put in there and the stress that it caused me. So I'm not a regular Starbucks goer. I literally, um, since, what was this, like September where the um, genocide started in Gaza, probably ha have gone to Starbucks five times. That's like a good six months, probably more. So I don't feel bad for that. And like I said, I live in the country, so I have to make do with what I got. Um, so yeah, and I was, it was before work, so I had it, I was, it was time sensitive. So anyway, another thing about Starbucks and my choices for food, um, as a, someone who's trained as, as a health coach, I'm definitely not, um, like, I don't like titles, so, cause I'm more than just a health coach. Um, I looked at several options on the menu before I chose what I wanted. Um, I went down in sugar on one of the drinks. I got a venti drink, but I got, instead of three pumps, I got two pumps of the flavoring. So yeah, I made decisions that were conscious. Like I looked at the menu um, to see what would have like lower sugar because I know that it, it inflames my PCOS. Um, and then also having something high protein. So um, there's lots of carbs and sugar in Starbucks menu, but you can pick things. I always get a double smoked bacon. It's got at least 20 grams of protein. Um, and with your carbs, you just wanna pair them with something. So the fact that it has an egg is healthy fat. You don't ever wanna just eat plain carbs. Like if I was getting a croissant, okay, yes, I just spiked the hell out of my blood sugar. But having a sandwich um, with egg, cheese, and meat is going to have less of an effect on your blood sugar. Um, and we can go into that. I mean, you know, I, I, yeah, with the blood sugar, it's just a PCOS thing. Um, I mean, it's for, for everybody, honestly, for hormone balance, um, it's best to, you know, avoid refined sugars, um, but having too much sugar inflames your body. So yeah. Um, and then lastly, so after this weekend or yesterday, basically, I realized after talking to my brother that I am literally going through my Saturn return. Um, I'll put a little bit here about what that is, but yeah, I have a lot of like Saturn-ish placements, so I'm familiar with Saturn, but when Saturn comes around, it's literally coming to whoop your ass by teaching you lessons. So knowing that, I'm equipping myself with just these tools, like I said, I've been meditating, I've been journaling, I've been going through the 33 days of embrace with your spiritual mermaid on Instagram. So it's bringing me to just really embrace myself, but also release the parts of myself that are no longer serving me. So that's why I feel great about the fact that I picked up the vlog camera. Now, two days later, looking back, I'm like, it's that energy shift. I feel it. Like, so yeah, the little things you do for yourself, the inner work, the self-care, that is what's going to keep you going and take you like a thousand times further down the road than if you were to just go through life without those tools. So um, yeah, like I did another release ritual today. I'll put a little clip in here of it. Um, and you know, if you want more details, let me know. Um, or if you would like to do something similar for yourself, let me know. Um, and yeah, because it just really, I feel the changes already and just me accepting myself for who I am coming on this camera looking like this and, you know, just really not caring. Like I'm posting things because I want to post them um, because I know they're going to help somebody. So yeah, it's just about that faith and things we can't see um, and choosing the thoughts, like I said at the beginning of the vlog. So choosing what energy you're going to give yourself to and lend yourself to because life is going to life. Okay. But yeah, I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in and watching. I'm so happy to be back on YouTube creating content. You know me, I'm gonna go through my little phases, life cycles, but I'm always come back to YouTube. So thanks for watching and 
catch me on the next one. Peace.